and so you know religious and politics inside um how many of you are using landing pages now anybody using the landing landing page um yeah but for my own stuff not not so much for the ims stuff okay david how about you landing page you're on mute i don't know if you know that david yeah uh, uh not really no okay uh, anybody at Archibus? Um, I know this may not be your bailiwick, Tom or Fred, um, landing pages. Yeah, sorry for joining the session so late. Um, no problem. But, but I really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, actually, we just did a, um, a follow-up for a meeting for the CUEs, and there was a link that Golson put at the bottom of her email back to the Nexus. Good. So that's kind of, yeah, so it was nice to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, landing pages, they're, they're very, very good. Um, let me, let me kind of get into it. Um, so let's go through the agenda. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to go over the cause of the mission. Uh, we're going to talk about landing pages, um, landing pages with social media and AB. And, um, so we'll know what AB is. So, uh, um, our, our mission is to, uh, our cause is to increase the awareness of uh, Archibus throughout the world. And our mission is to collaborate uh, our efforts to increase traffic to our individual websites and the Archibus website for the purpose of increasing sales. Okay, so um, well, many pages should be designed for uh, a focused audience. Um, so, you know, I just saw an RFP come across my desk for utility. Uh, that's a focused audience. That's not space management. That's utility management. And you could create a, web, a, a landing page for a, a focused um, group for utilities. You sh it should be a simplified message, uh, you know, talking about maybe the cost benefits of tracking your utilities by a standardized unit, um, connecting it to uh, NOAA or other types of weather type systems that would allow you to metric against existing conditions and use of utilities. Um, it should be of interest. So in other words, we may want to get a pulse on whether these utility companies uh, or companies that want utility applications are getting the right information and, and information that's interesting to them. And of, course, and of course, ultimately, it's to drive people to your website so that we can start to get a larger message. So let's take a look at, um, at, at some landing pages. Um, RSC has created a few. Um, now, this is our home page. This is where, where we usually start. But if we come down here into um, uh, industries, and I, <coughs> I'm going to go to education and then case studies, um, you know, I'm navigating here. Um, and I could have, I actually consider this page here landing page so this is um, what I may do with this is that I may take the Calgary Board of Education and I may take one of those images or one of those videos and I may drop it on a social media site with a little bit of a message and that, that message could then you know simply be part of the words that are in the case study or anything like that but this would be the page that the um, individual would uh, go to. Again, it's very simple. There's not more than, you know, a title, uh, images and videos, a couple of words. I can pull down a case study if I want, um, you know, then my, my, my uh, links to my website. But what this does is once they're here, what we're hoping for on a landing page is for click-through. So, for example, they may come and they may take a look at um, these videos. They may case study, pull down the case study. Those are click-throughs. Or, and hopefully, and when they do this, we can get them to go, hey, do they have any other things about education? Oh, look, there is a whole bunch. Let me look at these videos. And then let me look at these case studies, right? Can I... Can I and I see what's going on with these guys. And um, so you're, you're looking for click-through when it comes to landing pages. Um, questions on landing pages? Any, is this a new concept for everybody? Um, 
obviously not. We went through the, the room and asked those questions, but questions on landing pages. What they should well, Bob, Bob, what do you think the difference between a landing page and a website is? Uh, so for me, the, the difference is that um, it should be a, 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 a fo like we said in the, in the previous uh, PowerPoint, it should be focused um, and it should be simplified message. Now, I know this looks like this is my website and it is. Um, and I could hide all of those things, but we're hoping for um, click through. Yeah, yeah, totally get it. Okay. Right. Um, and yeah. so I guess I could have gotten rid of the title at the top and it would have been more of a pure landing page. In other words, I didn't have anything. And then I would have to have some buttons for click through. Did that help, CJ? Yeah, totally, totally. Now, I just saw the menus in that and I'm like, well, it looks like this built this right into the, into the website, which I would have done too. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, I, so I have a, a several uh, landing pages there are several uh, uh, pages on my website that uh, you can't link to. You can't get to them from my website. It, the only way it's delivered is either through a social media post or an email. That's the only way, or you have to know the URL. And I consider that a landing page. Now, I may be stretching the definition of a landing page, but I, I, I simply go back to this PowerPoint. Um, you know, is it, is it a focused, focused message and a focused audience? Is it a simplified message? And does it drive people to the website? Right. So any other questions on landing pages? All right. Um, so uh, landing pages are a good way uh, to provide a springboard into your social media. Um, uh, a lot of that is because you're going to be putting in videos, you're going to be putting in content, you're going to put in images. And for social media sites like Instagram or Snapchat or um, even LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Twitter, images really draw people. And, you know, I would spend a significant amount of time on getting good images, on getting good video, and providing simplified content. Um, and uh, uh, they, the, 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 the landing page could also help you determine which social media you're going, you're going to. So, for example, let's say that, you know, we had like we did. We had a users group meeting yesterday. Um, that users group meeting, um, while it could be publicized on LinkedIn because that's where all my businesses are, it could be a better post on my Facebook followers because they're a little bit more social, right? Um, um, so, uh, and then if I have an article on, you know, the uh, adventures of utility tracking, uh, that might be better in LinkedIn than on than on Facebook. And, but then use, you know, uh, um, and all social media and all landing pages, the use of pictures and videos are huge. Uh, it's, it's a big draw. Um, questions on um, using landing pages with social media. Does anybody doing this? Okay. I'm going to take that as, as okay. Um, so how do, how do we go about doing this? I've shown this before. It's very, very simple. Let's say that I, I decide that I want to, um, let's say that I want to um, go to my Facebook page. So if I'm going to make a post here, um, I could simply uh, come here, and then what I do is I'll upload a, 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 a one of the images. And so I'll go to my website on my local computer. Let me get up to it. Let's go into images, and then I categorize my images by um, so if I can here. So let's say that we want to do that um, Calgary article. This is the picture for Calgary, I believe. Let me verify. Okay, and then um, 
I can come over here. Let's come back here to the industries, education. Um, case studies. Let's now then get down to that Calgary one. So there's the image, right? So you, you can si simply just grab, you know, the URL. And sometimes when you do that, it'll bring down the image as well. And you can just take some of the text. So, for example, you can grab this like this and say, um, you know, this, this, this individual Marie. And then you can post this. Uh, I'm not going to because I've done this before, but, um, you know, that's literally that way. And then when it's posted, you've got this image and a little bit of text, and it drives it back to this site, which is the landing page. Once they start on that landing page, they can then, you know, go around, like I said, and, and get your clicks and go from there. All right. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, slight changes can make a big difference. Does anybody, has anybody ever heard of what's called A-B testing? Um, I have. I have. Okay. Um, I have. Myra. Okay. I haven't started doing A-B testing yet. Um, has anybody started to do A-B testing? Not no, yet. it's, it's, it's always kind of been on my radar, but. I need to dig in to get a better understanding of how to actually pull it off. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at as well. Uh, anyone else comment on A/B testing? Same place. Uh, it, yeah, it's a, it's. I, I know it theoretically what it does and how to how to do it. I've never practiced it myself. There are companies out there that actually are happy to do it for you as well. But um, yeah, I think it's what you mentioned. You 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 vary right. Uh, you, you vary two versions of your website slightly based on specific criteria you want to measure and you want to see if, what the differences are on success of, uh, of success of those differences, right? Yeah, abs absolutely, right? I mean, so for example, this this is just changing the button from blue to green. And, you know, that may be pretty simple, but that can make a big difference. Yeah. When, when I was earlier in my architectural industries, I worked for a, a, an architect that would not ever allow us to use the color red he felt red was a negative color and so and studies have shown that the two most um, marketable colors are blue and yellow that blue and yellow are by far the most pleasing and get more um, attraction than any other color combination now what's fascinating about that is that it, it really does depend because sometimes I really am at awe at some of the images that are put together with different colors and they draw me in and they're not blue and yellow they're you know red and black or uh you know a deep purple and red and i mean it's, it's 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 amazing how these emotions are created by color by changing of words by images and uh they, they can make make a big difference now some of the things that um you may want to consider in a b testing are literally maybe the title tags in other words if i if i put things in my title um uh, that are keywords like IWMS as compared to EAM, right? What's the difference between an enterprise asset management system and an IWMS system? Well, really not a lot. Uh, enterprise asset systems may not have space management, and IWMS does. Uh, but if we just use IWMS, how many people are familiar with that buzzword? Not sure. Um, EAM, probably a larger audience. Um, don't know. But if you create the same website with a sl slightly different tag words or maybe even words in the text and maybe even images, you can then begin to test which one creates more of an audience. Um, I really believe that the A-B testing is really set for those that do marketing 24-7. That's their job. Um, for those of us who are novices, I'd like to get there. But I really don't think uh, it's going to be something I'm going to get too soon. Yeah, you're right. It's it's it is a it is a primarily a marketing function. If you have the uh, the resources to to pull it off correctly, the um, the other thing I'll add about A/B testing is um, 
if you care about what the actual parameter is that caused the change, then you have to be careful about changing too many parameters at once. You do color and then the wording and then uh, and you see the right. difference. You don't really know what drove the, the, that difference. Yeah, I mean, it could be an A, B test and then a B, C test and a C, D. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or, or even branches from there. Yeah, I wouldn't, I agree with you. I wouldn't do too much. Uh, and then, and there in lies the rub because then it gets expensive. Absolutely. And again, I think, uh, I think this is for a full-time person that does marketing, right? Uh, those are right. really, really optimizing the drive to the website. And um, uh, I just can't say it again, you know, too much is that I would like to do this, but I've got too many other things on my plate to do A-B testing. Um, I think just driving people to my website to begin with is a challenge. I know that kind of sounds, you know, A-B testing would drive more people, but, you know, getting the content out and actually doing, you know, great landing pages is, is a first step. So, you know. All right. Um, any other questions on landing pages? That's, that's kind of my lesson for today. Uh, any other thoughts on social media and Archibus or, or um, landing pages? Not right now, Bob. Okay. Let's just kind of go around the room. How how are we all doing with social media? Is it is it a good thing? Is it a is it a is it a, is it a, a necessary evil? Are we embracing it? Do we love it? Is it difficult? Is it easy? Is it? Let's just kind of hear, have some feelings and, and you know, hear hear about how we feel about the social media thing. Oh, I I actually enjoy doing it. And our numbers, I've been kind of focusing on it for Dan for the last couple of months, and our LinkedIn numbers are, like, the graphs look great. It's, like, just a nice steady increase in activity. Yep. Yeah, LinkedIn, um, we've, we've used AdWords in LinkedIn. Now we're moving more into Twitter as well um, with a little bit of Facebook, but trying to keep consistency throughout. So... Um, and looking to do more of this organic stuff that you're doing with respect to getting the brand awareness out first and and using that to get us on page listings and things like yep. that. So um, it's it's working. It's, it's getting better. Good. Anyone else? All of, Bob, all of, the, all of the words that you used, I think, apply to me. I like yeah. it. I hate it. I embrace it. I'm scared of it. <laughs> right. Yeah. A absolutely. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I've. Uh, I, I. You know. I have to do a little bit of a ad admission here. Maybe a confessional. Um, nine months went. I don't think I missed a day posting. And about middle of December, I I dropped off and I haven't got started back up again. I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but. Um, and it's not that I don't want to because it's nagging me all the, every day. And I keep saying, well, once I get that RFP out, I'll, be, I'll, I'll get back into it. Or once I get this, you know, all hands meeting behind me, you know, I'll get, I'll get into it and uh, again. And I will. Um, I think, you know, beginning next week, I'll start to do the uh, everyday posts again. Uh, but it, it is an up and down sometimes. It's a real challenge. And, um, and go from there. Uh, yeah, it seems like uh, there's a... Uh, for me, a fairly high threshold to getting into it, as you say, um, to actually do enough um, to be viable and useful. Um, so that that's a bit intimidating, I think. You're realizing there's there's a sizable commitment, and I don't see how it fits. Um, I mean, professionally, it also it's not a front and center with my current responsibilities or authority to do that. Um, but even so, just thinking about the um, the volume of effort. To, to really do it well, and I see what you do, and it, it's astounding. It's really, really good <laughs> to see um, how nicely done it can be. Um, and I know you, you've worked out a lot of inefficiencies, and you're being gracious and sharing a lot of that with us, so that's that's helpful. It is chipping down the threshold a bit uh, to make it a little more believable that, yeah, I, I could do some of this, but it's still still a bit of a reach, it seems. Yeah, 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 it, it is. Um, I, and I think, you know, we're all born, I don't know everybody's age here, but I think we're all born in a generation where this is almost counterintuitive for us. Uh, you know, I was born in an era where you just duck your head and do a good job, and that's how you got recognized. And in this era, you get recognized by, you know, raising your hand and, and getting on social media and talking about what you're doing and 
And that's that that was a hard thing for me to get past. Did anybody have similar experiences with that, like getting past your whole your old, you know, your DNA and your gen generation? You think of? Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely right. Um, so uh, I think just one more philosophical thought here. I'm wondering what we're going to be talking about in five years from now, whether this is still going to be as large or whether it's going to be morphed into a another type of uh, online marketing other than social media. But it'll be interesting to see what happens in five years. It's just ever evolving. True. Okay. Um, well, I don't have anything else. Is there any, anything else from the audience and that we'd like to discuss? If not, I'm going to say thank you and have a great weekend, and we shall see you next Friday. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Bob. Take care. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, bye, -bye.